princess and unveiled the secrets calling Princess Catherine her new queen. Catherine, Princess of Wales, has taken a significant and monumental step toward becoming queen, a role that is becoming more than a distant prospect. Her recent surprise appointment has cemented her position within the royal family, setting the stage for a historic future as Britain's beloved monarch. The announcement came quietly, but its reverberations were felt throughout the nation. Within moments, headlines buzzed with the weight of Catherine's new responsibility. This isn't just any role, it marks a turning point, not only for the royal family but for the people of the United Kingdom, who have watched her grow into a figure of strength, resilience, and grace over the years. The significance of this appointment cannot be overstated. For those who look upon the royal family with reverence, it is the dawn of a new era. Yet, the road to this pivotal moment has been anything but smooth. Catherine's journey has been defined by trials, both personal and public, that have tested her mettle as a future queen. In what was one of the most trying years of her life, the world learned that Catherine had been privately battling cancer, a revelation that shocked the public and added new layers of empathy to her already immense public support. Despite her health struggles, Catherine has shown an indomitable spirit that has only bolstered her popularity. She faced the shadow of illness with the same grace she has always displayed, quietly working through her treatments while continuing to fulfill her royal duties. As she stepped into her new role, the memory of her challenging year only served to amplify the significance of this moment. The future queen had proven herself in more ways than one, not just to the royal family but to the world at large. A year of hardships has made this triumph all the more profound, and Britain has rallied behind her, offering their unwavering support. Recent polls reflect a growing consensus across the nation, Catherine has become the most popular member of the royal family, a feat in itself given the deep and storied history of Britain's monarchy. At the forefront of these polls, 66% of the population expressed their overwhelming favor for Catherine as a future queen, solidifying her status as not just a royal figure, but a national icon. Her new appointment is a direct reflection of this support, a nod to the public's clear desire to see Catherine's role expand. But it's not just the numbers that speak volumes, it's the palpable sense of unity and admiration that follows her every move. Catherine's resilience in the face of personal struggles, her steadfast dedication to her family, and her deep commitment to charitable work have all played a part in her rise to prominence. Her genuine connection with the people is a rare gift, one that has allowed her to ascend through the ranks of the royal hierarchy with grace and dignity. The surprise appointment that has placed her on this accelerated path to the throne is a carefully calculated decision by the monarchy, one that signals the beginning of a slow but certain transition. While Queen Elizabeth II's legacy remains firmly intact, the gradual preparation for Catherine's reign has begun in earnest. There is a quiet but growing acknowledgement that Catherine is more than ready for the weight of this responsibility, having proven herself time and again, both in the public eye and behind palace doors. The tension around this transition is palpable. As Britain stands on the cusp of a new chapter in its royal history, there is an unmistakable sense of anticipation that fills the air. People are watching, waiting, and wondering, what will Catherine's reign look like? How will she shape the future of the monarchy? The answers to these questions are still to come, but one thing is certain, Catherine's rise to the throne is no longer a distant dream. It is a reality that is slowly but surely taking shape. In her new role, Catherine is expected to take on greater responsibilities, working closely with key figures within the royal family and the government. This appointment is not just symbolic, it is a deliberate move to prepare her for the highest office in the land. As she steps into this new phase of her life, she does so with the full backing of her family, her people, and the legacy of the monarchy that she will one day inherit. For many, this is the moment they have been waiting for. Catherine's ascent represents a fresh start for the royal family, a new era of leadership that promises to bring the monarchy into the 21st century with renewed energy and purpose. Her modern approach, combined with her deep respect for tradition, makes her the perfect figure to bridge the gap between the old and the new. But as with any transition, there are challenges ahead. 
The weight of the crown is heavy, and the path to becoming queen is fraught with the pressures of public life, media scrutiny, and the delicate balancing act of maintaining the monarchy's relevance in an ever-changing world. Yet, if anyone is prepared for this task, it is Catherine. She has shown time and again that she possesses the strength, wisdom, and grace to handle the demands of royal life, and her popularity continues to grow as she navigates these complexities. Her journey toward becoming queen is more than just a personal triumph, it is a testament to her resilience, her dedication, and her unwavering commitment to serving her country. This latest appointment is a clear signal that the monarchy recognizes Catherine's unique abilities and is confident in her ability to lead the nation into the future. As Britain watches this new chapter unfold, there is a sense of hope and optimism in the air. Catherine represents the best of what the royal family has to offer, tradition, stability, and a forward-thinking approach to leadership. Her rise to the throne is not just a story of royal succession, it is a story of perseverance, resilience, and the power of public support. Catherine's popularity continues to soar, and with each passing day, the possibility of her becoming queen draws nearer. The nation stands behind her, ready to embrace her as the future leader of the monarchy. And as this new chapter begins, one thing is clear, Catherine's rise to the throne is a moment of hope, unity, and positive change for the United Kingdom. The British public, renowned for its deep-rooted connection to the royal family, has been particularly vocal in their support of Princess Catherine. The admiration she commands is not built solely on her image as a royal figurehead but on something far deeper, her embodiment of qualities the people of the nation hold dear, humility, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to duty. Her capacity to balance her responsibilities as a mother, wife, and future monarch has only deepened this connection with her subjects, creating a bond that feels almost familial. In every public appearance, Catherine radiates a sense of calm and composed strength. Whether she's speaking at high-profile charity events, engaging with citizens during walkabouts, or quietly supporting causes that affect everyday people, Catherine's warmth and authenticity come across as genuine. This transparency has not only endeared her to the public, but has elevated her status within the monarchy as a woman who can lead with both empathy and wisdom. Her influence stretches beyond ceremonial duties, her initiatives in mental health awareness, early childhood development, and her focus on modernizing the monarchy have proven her to be a future queen who is not only aware of the challenges of the modern world but is actively seeking to address them. Many have commented on how Catherine has humanized the royal family in ways that feel accessible and sincere. She isn't seen as a distant royal figure, but rather as a relatable leader who understands the struggles faced by ordinary people. This rapport with the public has allowed her to withstand the trials and tribulations of life in the spotlight, especially during the trying year that saw her battle a health crisis with the utmost grace. In the face of personal adversity, Catherine never wavered from her duties. The news of her cancer diagnosis, which had been kept private until her recovery was underway, sent shockwaves across the country. It was a revelation that touched many hearts, and her quiet courage in confronting the illness further strengthened her bond with the people. Instead of withdrawing, Catherine stepped into her challenges with renewed vigor. In the months that followed her diagnosis, she maintained her public engagements, working tirelessly to uphold the responsibilities of her position. For many, her ability to carry on with grace amidst such a difficult period became a symbol of resilience. Her actions spoke to the core of what it means to be a royal, to endure, to lead, and to serve with quiet strength. It is this resilience that has solidified her place as one of the most beloved figures in the royal family today. As the months passed, the nation watched with a collective sense of awe as Catherine not only recovered from her illness, but appeared to emerge even stronger. Her popularity soared, and her name became synonymous with hope and perseverance. The polls, which consistently showed her at the top of the list as the most favored royal, were a clear reflection of the public's support. At the height of her recovery, a stunning 66% of the British public expressed their desire to see Catherine ascend to the role of queen, an astounding level of support in a country with a complex relationship to its monarchy. 
Her surprise appointment within the royal family only confirmed what many had long suspected, Catherine is being groomed for the throne. The role, while not fully disclosed to the public in terms of its exact duties, is understood to be a pivotal one, one that brings Catherine even closer to the day when she will wear the crown. It's not just a ceremonial position, but one that requires her to work alongside key figures within the royal institution, preparing her for the day when she will take on the full weight of monarchy. The decision to place her in this position is a clear acknowledgement from the highest ranks of the monarchy that Catherine is ready. Her journey, filled with both public triumphs and private challenges, has prepared her in ways that are uniquely suited to the role of queen. Her life has been a study in balancing tradition with the demands of the modern world, a balance that is critical for the monarchy's survival in the 21st century. The royals are aware of this and Catherine's appointment is a strategic move that signals a quiet, steady transfer of power. While some might view this as a natural progression in the royal family's line of succession, there is a growing sense of anticipation around Catherine's reign. It is no longer a matter of if but when. The people of Britain have watched her grow into her role, and now, they wait with bated breath for the day she takes her place as queen. The tension surrounding this moment is palpable. Catherine's new role has sparked a wave of excitement across the nation, an excitement that is tempered by the knowledge that change within the monarchy always comes with a degree of uncertainty. But there is a prevailing optimism in the air. The prospect of Catherine as queen has infused the royal family with a renewed sense of purpose. Her influence has already started to shift the perception of the monarchy, modernizing it in subtle but important ways. Her focus on issues such as mental health, children's welfare, and social justice has connected with a younger generation that has often felt disconnected from the traditional values of the royal family. Catherine's rise represents a future where the monarchy can evolve without losing the essence of what makes it so important to the fabric of British life. Behind the scenes, preparations are already underway. The royal family, known for its adherence to protocol, is quietly laying the groundwork for the eventual transfer of power. While Queen Elizabeth's reign remains secure, the wheels of change are in motion. Catherine's appointment is just one piece of the puzzle, but it is a significant one. Her new responsibilities will see her stepping into a leadership role that, while largely behind the scenes for now, will become more visible as time goes on. Her role in state affairs will grow, and she will begin to take on more of the ceremonial duties that come with the position of queen. The monarchy, ever mindful of public perception, is carefully managing this transition, ensuring that Catherine's rise is both seamless and supported by the nation's love for her. There is a quiet but steady acceptance that Catherine's time is coming, and when it does, she will be more than ready. As Britain looks to the future, the anticipation of Catherine's reign grows stronger. Her journey from Duchess to Queen in waiting has been filled with challenges, but it is those very challenges that have shaped her into the leader she is today. The nation stands united behind her, ready to support her as she takes on the responsibilities that come with being the face of the monarchy. For now, the royal family remains poised for the future, with Catherine at the heart of its plans. Her rise to the throne is not just a moment of personal triumph, but a symbol of hope for the future of the monarchy. Britain, with all its history and tradition, is on the cusp of a new era, an era that will be defined by Catherine's strength, resilience, and unwavering commitment to her people. And when the day comes that she is crowned queen, it will be a day of unity, celebration, and the continuation of a legacy that has stood the test of time. But this latest development has raised serious questions about the toll those duties are taking on her health. For months, rumors have swirled about Kate's health, with insiders suggesting she has been quietly battling cancer while continuing to fulfill her royal responsibilities. Though the palace has yet to confirm the specifics of her health condition, the incident has thrust her well-being into the spotlight, with royal fans and health experts alike urging her to take a step back from her relentless schedule and focus on her recovery. The situation has reignited a debate over the demands placed on the royal family, particularly on women like Kate, who face the dual pressures of public life and motherhood. In the wake of her collapse, 
the question on everyone's mind is whether Kate can continue to balance her royal duties with her health challenges, or if it's time for her to take a much-needed break. While many sympathize with the princess, others have expressed frustration at the lack of clarity surrounding her condition. For weeks, royal insiders have whispered about Kate's desire to return to work and her reluctance to take time off despite her health challenges. Even now, after the alarming incident, some wonder if she will heed the advice of doctors and royal advisors urging her to slow down. Her mother, Carol Middleton, has reportedly spoken out, expressing concern for her daughter's well-being and demanding that the royal household, including Queen Consort Camilla, ease the pressure on Kate to return to public life so soon. This health scare has intensified the scrutiny on Queen Consort Camilla, whose role within the royal family has always been a point of contention. Camilla, long seen as the other woman in King Charles III's life, has weathered her fair share of controversy and public disapproval, especially in the years following Princess Diana's tragic death. Despite her efforts to win over the British public and solidify her place within the royal family, many continue to view her with suspicion. Now, with Kate's health in question, there are whispers that tensions between Kate, William, and Camilla have resurfaced, though the royal family has made no official comment on these reports. The relationship between Camilla and Prince William has always been a complicated one, marked by years of unresolved tension stemming from the very public dissolution of his parents' marriage. However, in recent years, those tensions appeared to have eased, particularly after Prince Harry's departure from royal duties in 2020. The royal family has made concerted efforts to present a united front, with Camilla playing a more prominent role as queen consort following Charles's ascension to the throne. But Kate's health crisis has stirred up old wounds, with some speculating that William may be privately frustrated with the pressures being placed on his wife. Still, the royal family is known for its ability to weather storms and maintain a sense of decorum in the face of adversity.